All right, back again. Um, I'm going to talk about... What was I talking about? Superman Last Son, that's right. Um, uh, I was just continuing on my three-story review. Uh, I don't remember where I was talking about, but... Um, I was—I t- think I was talking about the story. I'm not sure, but um, they find out. I guess I think I might be at where they—they they adopted the kid, and um, they find out later that it's actually uh, General Zod's kid. And General Zod comes in, and he uh, tries to get his son back. And um, before that, though. I didn't read that issue that had them in it. I just read the one that had the the first one and the one that had Bizarro in it. And I was really, really impressed with Bizarro in this. Um, they made him scary again. I actually read um, a wizard, a wizard uh, magazine before I, uh, this came out talking about what they were going to do to um, make Bizarro scarier. And he's pretty scary looking in this. He's does some pretty bad things in this. He actually breaks a kid's arm. Um, my I love Bizarro. If they make him right, I just love Bizarro. I think he's cool. But um, it's really a good uh, issue. Great action scenes. Um, great everything. But anyways, on to General Zod. Um, General Zod wants to take his kid back, and the kid doesn't really want to go back. And... They put Superman in the Phantom Zone, and they have a fight there. And in that issue, it's actually a 3D issue where they have um, you wear 3D glasses, and it's actually 3D, which I don't really like because there's just this huge hunkin' cardboard page in the book that makes it harder to read, and it's just kind of in the way. I would have done without the 3D because I mean the 3D is kind of cool, but like I could have done without it. But um. I didn't even use the goggles that were in it. I just used 3D goggles that I had already, so I didn't like have to rip them out or anything. Um, uh, th- so they have this battle in the Phantom Zone, and when they get out, um, they get in a... I think they get in another fight. I don't remember the ending of this either. I read all these around the same time after Christmas, so it's been a while before I remember... Um, some of these. Um, yeah, Superman uh, gathers... Actually, he gathers his old villains, uh, Parasite, Bizarro, Lex Luthor, and he needs their help to defeat them. And so they get in another... Um, they get in a big fight with them, and it's pretty epic, you know. Uh, who... Who is this guy? There's, um... Who's the other guy he's with? Oh, yeah. Metallo. That's Metallo. He just looks different. Uh, Metallo's also in this, and he helps out. Um, and so it's it's a pretty sweet story. I really love the artwork in this. It, it's really great. Uh, the, the fight scenes, some of the best fight scenes I've seen... This was a way satisfying Superman tale. It was all Superman's about, I think. Um, really emotional, great story. Um, I recommend picking up this trade more than any of the other three, or the other two. Um, the, the So I think in order I would say Superman Last Son and then Superman Birthright. Just Superman Last Son beats Birthright just barely, in my opinion. Um, but it's just really satisfying Superman story to me. Um, Birthright is too, because, I mean, Birthright, you get the whole thing. You get his origin, plus a really great story. So I recommend getting those. All-Star Superman, I guess I'll recommend to you, because, um, I mean, everybody else likes it. And I like it. I'm not saying I don't like it. It's not, like, my least favorite Superman story or anything. Otherwise, I wouldn't be reviewing it, um... And saying good things about it, but I just feel uh, it for right now. This uh, that was the weakest one out of these three, just because I guess it's all. It might just be because I haven't read the second part, and it might just be because of what I heard about the ending of it 
and uh, but um, I, I I can't stop you from from buying it because I think it's it's a great especially if you're a Superman fan I would go get All Star Superman because um, I'm sure you'll probably like it's just in my opinion I didn't like it so um, all three of these are really great um, pick up pick up Last Sun pick up Birthright and also pick up All Star. Um, if you really, I, I think to kind of classify what's what these all are in between, I would, um, if you want to know the origin of Superman and kind of just the basics of Superman, get Superman Birthright. If you want a very satisfying tale of Superman that has a whole bunch of villains in it, he fights, good action sequences, um, and it's and if you liked the movies a lot, I would get this book, um, All Star Superman. If you're a big Superman fan through comics, big, um, if you know a lot about it, if you know a lot about Superman, I'd suggest getting that because um, that one's a little, to me, it seems a little more advanced, it's, uh, more of an advanced story. You got to kind of understand everything before you read it. Um, you got to understand Superman's tale, basically. So all three of these are um, pretty good. Um, Birthright and Last Sun, I think, are my two favorites out of these three, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna completely uh, take out All Star Superman. Just I like All Star Superman too. Um, so uh, that's about it for this review. Pick these up um, if you're a Superman fan, wanting to know stuff about Superman, you want to get a good, um, get good Superman stories into you. I suggest picking these up. And um, for now, that's it.